Hey everybody, I want to update you on yesterday's painting. It dried awesome. I really like it and I think it will look super cool with resin on it. Um, it's such kind of a unique shape. I really like it. All right, let me climb up here. All right, so here are some key points. Um, you can see the colors that I've got right there. I've got um, a self-mixed, it is neon pink or fluorescent pink or neon pink, one of those with magenta. Liquitex Basic Cadmium Orange, a uh, self-mixed blue, and Artist Loft Aqua Green. All right, and I am going to do a mallet smash using this lightweight mallet, um, which is like a camping mallet for, you know, the spikes of a tent. So I was looking at these colors and they don't look quite right to me, but since this isn't alive, I can't, oops, I can't ask for opinions on it because there's nobody there to give them to me. Um, something just looks off. I don't know if it's the orange, maybe it's the, maybe it should be a different shade. Well, that looks better than that. Yeah, let's go with this one is vermilion. Various shades uh, or various brands of vermilion. Let's go with that one. That looks a little better. So this is a, I believe it's 12 by 12 piece of MDF and my white house paint mixed with Floetrol and water. Get that on there. I am still letting the wood putty from uh, my uh, video a couple days ago dry. I put another coat because that first Primer coat was actually gesso, so I put a real coat of primer on it. Um, and then I've sanded it. And I'm not sure. It just probably could not handle the moisture of the um, all the acrylic, the the water, and the Floetrol, and all of that paint sitting on it. So I've let it, it's been caring for a couple days now. I'm still hesitant to get pouring on it though. I mean, the worst that happens is the exact same thing happens, but I don't wanna keep doing a cycle of that. is my paper towels. <coughs> I'm going to torch out these air bubbles. Here's the aqua green. Ooh, this is runny. That needs some thickening. Let's, that. Let's do the pink. This one is much, this one was really thin the other day, so I thickened it up and it's much better today. And I thickened it up by 
Um, this one I just added iridescent medium to because that's pretty thick. We will see how that vermilion is. This has iridescent medium in it as well. Oops, seems to be a decent consistency. But there is going to be an awful lot of paint on here. Oops. Alrighty. like paint everywhere but I like it done a crazy one like this in a while. Let's see what happens when I torch it. like firecrackers. This is what my mallet smashes used to look like. Like this was kind of the original style of them. Um, and when I first started doing them, I think I, some of you might know, I did it, I used to smash underneath the table under a drop cloth because I had absolutely no control and I would just whack. Um, but I can see I got, oh, I did get some paint on some stuff I didn't want paint on, but I'm looking around, nothing too important. So I think we're good. Um, so yeah, they used to all be everywhere. And I do have more paint than I would like in these areas. Um, I'm going to see if I can soak any of it up. And I, and I know we've all talked about syringes and all that stuff, but this does seem to work the best. That kind of gives this here needs. I right, need some white in there. That one seems good. So I'm actually going to leave it. Yeah, I'm going to leave it. I've got some really cool webbing going on. This is kind of a simple and sweet one. I am glad I changed the orange color. Yeah, usually I'd be messing with it for a lot longer, but um, I like that. That was my charger. Let's cover you.
Love it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you next time. Bye.